Uh, thanks for coming. Another glorious morning. Uh, my beautiful daughter and I were talking about how lucky we've been. We've had literally one or two rainouts this whole spring, and a couple days it's been chilly, but heavens to Murgatroyd. If you can find something to complain about, you've got issues. So be nice. And uh, today, just embrace the moment for a few minutes. Um, it is uh, just another all-levels, multi-level vinyasa practice with maybe a surprise or two. And then... Uh, in an absolutely perfect location at a perfect point in the day with a, an ensemble that makes sounds that'll make your brains happy. That's the Bohemian Song Society back there on the porch. That, or or we, what we call Flex New House. <laughs> so uh, do the, uh, be a favor. And throughout the day, you know, when the sun gets in your eyes, don't be afraid to close them. And when you find some peace and balance in a posture, let them take over, you know? Get in and, and find your balance, find your harmony, and then close your eyes and open your heart and let them get in. And when they get in, they're going to give you that cerebral massage and that, that internal massage that happens from vibration. And there, you can't deny this. And if you want to quantify it or, or measure it, it's, you're going you're gonna to lose the debate because it's, there's, we're vibratory. We're vibratory beings, and our energetic body responds to vibration, and we're in an ocean of vibration. We always have been called OM. And uh, at this and throughout this practice they're going to create that vibration necessary for you to relax and you know and and uh and br embrace the moment and if you can stay in the moment good if you can't stay in the moment get back there's no reason to be anywhere else for the next hour and 15 minutes you got to be cool to yourself and if you're not going to be cool to yourself then the people around you don't benefit from your light you know so do it if you can't do it for yourself and if, if it is an issue then do it for someone else and set your intention to be a better friend and a better partner or other or whatever and be cool embrace this moment and let go let go let go let go let go let go and drop everything that's on your mind let it Get away from you. Just push everything off your mat. This sanctuary right here, this magic carpet, is your place to heal, your place to ground, your place to steady, and your place to grow. So let's do it. My name is Pickles. Thanks for coming. That's the Bohemian Song Society. This is brought to you by Jenny Lee Croft and Photography. Thank you for being here. Breathe in through your nose. Holy moly, I'm excited already. Breathe in. Fill your body with prana. Exhale slow. Breathe in and start this breath right at the Mahabharata chakra, right at the root center, your pelvic floor. Engage, lift, lengthen, and exhale smooth. And let just all these circular motions as they pull the shoulders away from the ears, allow the edges of the body to become smooth. Inhale, lift from the base of the spine. We're starting to nudge that kundalini, that coiled up serpent at the bottom of your spine. And we're going to open both sides, both nadis, the Aida and Pingali nadis, the nadis of the body, the two open channels that run around Shoshimsa, so that we have this open, free channel of energy to awaken the Kundalini. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften. Inhale, breathe and fill and spread your ribs wide. Make your exhalation super slow and settle and steady your consciousness. Inhale, lift, spread those ribs further and wider. Get into the bottom 15% of your lungs. Be aware of the top of the breath and then exhale even slower. 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 And then be aware of the bottom of the breath. Now engage in Ujjayi Pranayama. I invite you to just constrict the back of the throat just a little bit. You know the deal. Put your thumb over the end of the hose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breathe in and make ocean sounds. Hold the breath and breathe out. Make ocean sounds. This pranayama is audible, and if you can hear it, you'll come back to it. And throughout this practice, your mind's going to drift. So come back to this breath, and as soon as you realize that you can no longer hear this inhalation and exhalation, and it doesn't sound like the ocean anymore, that cool Atlantic that is home, come back to it. If you have to do this one time or a hundred times, it doesn't matter, no judgment. This is your practice, enjoy it. Do exactly what you need, and as selfish as you could be for at least another hour. So be selfless for the rest of the day.
Inhale the shoulders to the ears. Roll them up, back and down. Bring the hands outside. Drizzle the tips on your mat. Sit up nice and tall. Shoulders back. Ears in line. Chest forward. Belly in. Turn the palms over. Reach out and then up. <clears throat> Excuse me. When the palms come together, push. Then slowly bring the chin to the chest and reach back. Exhale. Push away side walls. Chin to chest. Scoop out your navel. Turn the palms over and reach out, embellish the movement, get you a whole bunch of that kitty hawk air now. Reach, bring it, bring it, bring it, reach, but stay rooted. Exhale, push away side walls, flex the wrist, get as big as you can. Yeah, turn them over, get it big now. Dance, dance, dance. Don't worry about what you look like, just be free. And exhale, push away side walls. Keeping the fingers facing down, flex the wrist, lift. Bring the backs of the hands together, push. Turn the palms over, interlace the fingers, reach, chin to the chest, stretch, bend the elbows, hammock to the head, squeeze the scapula together, send those elbows back, lift your heart, look up, lift the back ribs first, spread wide, lift the sternum towards the sky, look up and maybe even back. Exhale, slowly wrap the biceps around to the ears, round the upper back and fold, no tension of the cervical spine, just length. Release the hands, the palms face forward, fingers face down. You bring them down till they're in front of the knees. The saddle of the hand is up. You lift up your tuchus and you bring the sole of the hand down. Little Yiddish for you. Bring that tuchus back now, but keep the saddle of the hand down and stretch across the bottom of the forearms. And then move a little bit in your shoulders. <coughs> Excuse me. Come to inhale up, turn the palms over, grab the knees, pull the heart forward, hinge forward from the IT joint, gaze up, seated variation of cow. Exhale, inhale, send the crown of the head high, exhale, chin to chest, scoop out your navel. Inhale, pull your heart through, look up. And exhale, round the back, chin to chest. Inhale, pull the heart forward. Exhale, round the back. Now keep the shoulders where they are and just keep moving the sternum forward. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest. Start to pick up the pace. Exhaling back. Inhale. Exhale. So bringing this movement into the thoracic spine, pulling the sternum, the cage of the ribs forward, sending the shoulders back, bringing the chin to the chest, collapsing the chest. Come forward, Kundalini. Exhale. Now move a little bit faster. Let's wake the body up for heaven's sake. Very little movement in the head and shoulders. It's all in the sternum. Good. Come through center. Keep the hands on the knees. With a firm purchase, pull the sternum forward. Hinge forward at the flat. A flat back about 45 degrees and take your hip circles to the left. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ground down through your sits bones. Just create some organic movements. Strong behind your belly, but let your upper body bloom. So send the ischium, the bottom of the pelvis, into the roots, into your mat, into the ground below it. Steady in your conscious column so you can clear the murk, you know? So you can look up and start to see the light, the light that is the surface where the upper body just blooms, head to shoulder. Chin to chest, ear to shoulder, across the back of the neck. Come through center and rock the other way. Let's take it the other way. And notice that maybe your circles are a little bit funky. Maybe they're a little asymmetrical. So using your spine as a sir, if you prefer your martinis stirred, not shaken. And roll in and roll around. In the pelvic ball, stirring it up. Again, nudging and poking the kundalini. You know a snake, they're stubborn when they're cold. So we gotta warm it up, relax the head, neck, shoulders and face. Roll around, chin to chest. Good, come through center. Remove any flesh in the sits bones. Sit up nice and tall, bring the ear, shoulders to the ears, contract the trapezius, hold. Lift them higher, hold. Roll them back, fingers now find the floor. Turn the palms over, reach out, then up. Reach, 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 but stay rooted out of the exhalation. Twist to the left, the right hand coming outside the left knee. Lift the heart high and exhale, ring it out. <clears throat> Belly, ribs, shoulder, chin, then eyes, then close the eyes. Good. 
Release the posture. Remove any flesh. Again, you lift the shoulders this time to the front of the earlobe. Now we'll lift them higher through 12 o'clock, the center of the ear. Then slowly bring them back behind the ear. Let the hands drop. Turn the palms over, reach out and then up. Reach, but stay rooted. Reach, 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 reach. You must have more length. And on the exhalation, twist to the right. The left hand coming outside the right knee, lift high. Exhale, ring it out. <coughs> Excuse me. Spread those ribs wide. Take that chin over the shoulder. Breathe. Good. Bring it out. Length between each vertebral body. Untether the posture. Move your proffer up under your bum. Walk them over and we gotta kick it out. So keep the toes crossed. Come on up and over the knees if the knees allow. Align the wrist, shoulder, and elbow. Settle into your... Now soften your belly, knees wide. Pull your heart through, look up. Shoulders are in your ears, so roll them back and down for God's sake. Soften your cosmic guard and look high. Nice, untether the feet. Bring the hands down low. Now get them knees up. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, 90 in your hip, 90 in your knee. Turn the inner ankle down, soften the cosmic guard and stay low. Yes, yes. Settle into your frog. Take a couple circles of breath until you can take contraction out of your ass. Good. Now take contraction out of your low belly, the inner quad. Place the left hand under the shoulder, the right hand under the shoulder. Squeeze the scapula together. Roll them back and down. Hug the ribs. Lift just your heart. Keep the garden low. Hold. Come forward more, Jamie. Anyway. Yes, yes, yes. Bring the toes together. Lift the knees and make this sound. Oh. There you go, good. All right, table it up, babies, let's play. All righty, tuck toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, round the back cat flexion of the spine. Neutral spine, pick the hands up, fingers face back. Good, untuck the toes, pull the shoulder girdle forward, engage the core. Exhale, tuck his back. Stretch across the bottoms of the forearms, breathe peace. Come through a neutral. Turn the hands back around. Micro bends in the joints. Engage the musculature. Pick the hands up. Distribute the weight evenly so they're not just all in the saddle. And then tuck your toes. Drop your belly. Pull your heart through. Look up. Marjasana. Bitalasana. Cat and cow. Flex. Tuck toes. Drop your belly. Pull your heart through. And exhale. Round the back, kitty. Oh, tuck them. Pull them. And round the back. Neutral spine, right knee in. Inhale the left leg behind you, roll out the ankle. Good. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it back. Bring it to the knee, hold, squeeze. Send it back. Push down with the left hand, inhale the right. Good. Bend the left knee, turn the right palm up. Elbows bent. Slowly point the toes and the fingers high as you soften your belly, cow. Exhale, round the back, cat. Elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Palm down, flex foot, rotate left. Exhale, elbow in, knee up, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Extend the left leg, give it a pump. Drop the right hand down, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it back. Eyes of the elbows forward, touch the chin and chest. Dancing kitty, inhale up. Round the back, foot between the hands, low lunge. Align the knee with the ankle. Alrighty, bring the right hip forward. Bring the shoulders and the hands up. Send them back and down. Inhale, lift, Anjaniasana. Exhale, rain and frame. Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale up, monkey. Lift the heart, look high, maybe even back. Exhale, frame the foot, extend. Come on, inhale, lift it up. Good. Now interlace the fingers, turn them high to the sky, chin to the chest, and start to push the hands back. Now lift the back ribs, keep the right hip coming forward. Square the shoulders and take your gaze up now. Release the hands out to the side, then the hands to heart center, tuck the toes, engage, find your halanj. Breathe now. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, frame the foot, extend the left leg. Plant, parsvatrasana. Inhale up, bend the knee. High lunge. This time, rotate the right foot, bringing the right hip forward. Vira Vajra, one. Vajrasana. 
Look up. Breathe. Good. Drop the hands, extend the leg. Fold. Nice. Plant the hands with generous bend to the left knee as you inhale the left leg up. Exhale, round the back knee to chest. Inhale it up. Bend the knees, stack the hips, look under the armpit, breathe peace. Drop down onto the right forearm. Look over the right shoulder, find the foot. Good. Push down the hand square, three-legged down dog. Gaze between your thumbs. Place your right hand in your pocket. Steady, Freddy. Drop the right hand down, round the back of the chest. Place it on the back of the bed, left elbow, Kundalini Asana. Right foot down, left leg high. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Place it under the navel, inhale the right leg. Touch your chin and chest. Inhale up, right knee meets the left. Tuck toes. Sit on your heels. Hands to heart center. Slide them towards me now. Lean back, open your feet. Open your heart, look up. Rotate those shoulders back and down. Lift the heart and open the throat. Lift the heart, open the throat. Breathe, peace. Take your ass off your heels. Tip your tailbone, lift it high. Chin to chest, come on forward. Untuck them toes. Hands in Anjali Mudra, splay the metatarsals wide. Open the ankle. Lift the knees. Oh yes, lift them higher. Lift them higher. Oh, the vibrations, the rhythms. <laughs> There's a gaggle of geese dancing in the backyard. Rotate your shoulders back and down. Lift your heart. Knees up, ass down, heart high, head back. Oh, yeah. Slowly come on forward. Walk the hands out. We'll do the other side. Tuck your toes, silly goose. Pull your heart through. Toes, drop your belly, look up. And exhale, round the back. Pitalasana. Vargyasana, cat and cow. One more time. Waking up the thoracic spine. Exhale, round the back. Left knee in, inhale the right leg. Exhale, round the back. Knee to chest. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it to the right elbow, squeeze. Inhale it back. Push down with the right hand, inhale the left. Bend the right knee, point to toe. Turn the left palm over and bend the elbow. Fingers face up, so are the toes. Drop your belly, look high. Exhale, round the back. Knee to chest, cat flexion the spine. Inhale, reach, turn the palm down, flex the foot, rotate to the right. Exhale, bring the elbow and the knee up together, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Left hand hovers, extend the right leg, give it a little pumpy pump. Oh, yeah. Drop the left hand down, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it back. Eyes to the elbows forward, touch the chin and chest, dancing kitty. Inhale up. Round the back, place the foot between the hands, low lunge, align the knee with the ankle. Bring the arms in front. Send the shoulders back and down. Left hip forward, shoulders square. Inhale the arms on your asana. Lift the heart. Exhale, frame the right leg and extend it. Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale up, lift. Lift the heart higher. Exhale, frame the right foot, extend it forward. Oh, inhale up. Reach. Good. Bring the hands together and lace the palms. Send them toward the sky. Lock your chin to your chest. Send the arms behind the ears. Reach back. Now send the lift hip forward. Lift the ribs. Open your gaze high. Nice job. Nicely, nicely done. Bend the elbows, hammock the head. Lift higher. Reach out with the arms. Bring them to heart center. Tuck the toes. Find the lunge. Oh yeah. Breathe. Inhale the arms. Chandrasana. Exhale, rein and frame. Extend the right leg. Touch toes face forward. Inhale up. Halfway. Exhale back. Inhale up. Bend the knee. Find your Chandrasana. Interlace the fingers. Good. Bring the arms out to the side. Slowly extend the leg. Rotate the left foot. Bring the left hip forward. Bend the right knee. Inhale. Fear of Vajrasana. One. Breathe. Strong like you came out of the ground. Exhale, frame the foot. 
Extend, lift the upper back. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it up, bend the knee, stack the hips, look under the armpit. Breathe. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest, bring it on the back of the bent right elbow. Come to the asana. Awesome. Left foot down, right leg high. Good, gaze at the thumbs. Slowly put your left hand in your pocket. Breathe. Left hand down, round the back, knee to chest, navel. Inhale, the left leg. Touch the chin. Inhale up. Left knee meets the right. Spread of hip distance apart, sit between your heels. And make your way. Shoot the Virasana. Breathe, babies. Breathe. Find your edge. Embrace your edge. Breathe peace. Breathe, peace. Slowly bring the chin to the chest. Tuck the tailbone. Walk your hands in front of you. Adjust the knees wide. Untuck the toes. Send your ass back and your forehead forward. Velocity child's pose. Breathe. Settle into your hips. Breathe, peace. Set an attention for your practice. Be grateful. Absolutely. Yeah. You can feel it in your chest, can't you? Oh, that's on. You can feel it in your chest, can't you? Oh, that's on. Yeehaw. Oh, I can't stay too long now. Get your hands under your shoulders. Daddy's got to dance. Tuck them toes. Pull your hearts to look up. Send your ass all the way back to your heels. Look at your hands, spread them wide. Now do nothing other than extend your legs. At home, mukha, spinasana. Breathe peace, pedal. Externally rotate the shoulders. Move yourself. Heel to heel, just keep pedaling. Send your ass out on both sides. Breathe peace. Push that bat away, spread the fingers wider. Good. Bend the knees. Bring your bum back to your heels. Hop, step, or jump. Inhale, you're halfway over to Uttanasana. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise. Thumbs together, palms together, reach. Hands to heart center. Alrighty. Pick up the toes on all ten. Good. Keep them all up. Bring down all your pinkies. Bring down the next one. Good. Bring down the third one. I read an article yesterday that only the large toes supposedly can work independently of the other four. Nonsense! Bring down your long, long one. Bring down your big toe now and lift the inner arch of the foot. Look what happens to your pelvic floor. Look what happened. You lifted the arch. You're in the periphery of the, of the foot. Internally rotate your thighs. Tuck your tail. Lift your shoulders to your ears. Good. Rotate them back and down. The palms now face forward. Reach your crown of your head as high as you can. And then tuck your chin. This is Tadasana Mountain Pose. Oh dang, that's the mountain, babies. You are a mountain of balance, stillness, harmony, and peace. Close your eyes here, feel that breeze on your face. Feel your balance, feel your strength. Yeehaw. Gaze back into the yard, lift the toes on just the left foot. Hands to heart center, inhale the right leg. Steady Freddy now, hold. Send that right foot back. Windmill the arms, find your fear of Adrasana too. The left heel should draw a line to the arch of the right foot. Good. Your, look back at your right hand. It should be reaching for the back of the arm. Good. Look at your left foot. You better find a toe or you clear the knee. Nice. Now create distance in every direction. Nice. Slowly drop the elbow to the knee and extend the right arm. Pose for Konasana. Reach, reach, reach. Nice. Now, I want you to slide that left hand down the shin. I want you to reach back with the right hand behind your hip. Then reach under. Maybe your hands come together. Maybe they don't. But then you open that shoulder to the right. Bada Parasvokanasana. Left arm under Becky. That's it. Now open. You got it. You got it. Nope. Other way. Yep. And then try to reach for your other hand. Now open your right shoulder to the sky and send your head towards me. Beautiful. 
Now take your gaze this on the inside edge of your left foot. Keep in the bind. Step your right foot. Oh yeah. Inhale up slowly and bring the right leg with you. Maybe extending Birds of Paradise. Yeah. Oh, it's breezy, babies. Bring the foot down and step it right back. Stay in the bind. Left knee should be bent. Open your heart. Nicely done. Free the arms and look in front of your left foot. And when you're ready, inhale, left hand down, right leg up, gaze up. Ardha Chandrasana. Rotate the upper body. Standing split, inhale the right leg high. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it up. Release the right to meet the left and fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale back. Inhale, rise. Reach, reach, reach. Sweep the arms to heart center. All righty, here we go. Bring them out. Good. Right arm under the left, Karandasana. Now, put the weight into the left foot. Hinge forward. Eagle, warrior three. Reach forward with the elbows and back with the heel. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Inhale up, bring the right to meet the left. Lift your elbows high, untether the arms, hinge and fold. Uttanasana. Inhale halfway. Exhale bow. Inhale, rise. Thumbs together, palms together, reach. Hands to the heart center. Pick up the toes again on the left foot. Inhale the right. Find your dristi, open to the right. Now, place the sole on the inside edge. Woo! Now here's the deal. I learned in tree pose just last night. Inhale the arms above, Rikshasana. That it doesn't start to your navel. Your legs are the roots. It starts right in your Mulahapana chakra. Your arms are the branches, your trunk is the trunk. Good. Bring the knees through neutral and enhance the heart center. Extend the leg and release. Sweep the arms above. Exhale, hinge and fold. Woo, tanasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, back. Inhale again, halfway. Lift all ten toes. Now lift the ball of the foot. Stay on your heels and exhale, back. Place the feet down. Inhale, halfway. Lift the heels high. Exhale, back. Keep the heels in the air and inhale all the way up. Inhale, 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 reach. Hands to heart center, relax the feet. And we do the other side. Good, pick up the 10 toes, place them back down, lift the arch and find the periphery. Okie dokie, silly gooses. Find your dristi, micro bend to the right leg. Inhale the left. Hold. Exhale, send it back and with the arms to find your Vira Vajrasana two. Don't dismiss this one just because you've been doing this for a while. Bend your right leg, babe, and straighten your left, yes. Look at your left arm, make sure it's parallel with the ground. And reaching for the end of the arm. Look at your right hand. Over your right middle finger, open up the space in the scapula. Look at your right foot, make sure you can see a toe. Drop the elbow, extend the arm, parsimal kanasana. Breathe. Good. And now drop that right hand down the right shin. Left hand behind you. You can bind the posture if you can but I still need you to shine that elbow. Excuse me, that shoulder towards the sky. Towards me, Malik, and the other one, unless you're doing the other side. But that's okay. Open the shoulder. Look at your right foot. Step your left foot to me. Keep in the bind and inhale up. Bring the right leg with you. Slowly extend, birds of paradise. Bend the knee, place the right foot down. Step the left foot back, stay in the bind. Open the heart. Nicely done. <laughs> Unbind the posture. Take your gaze to the right corner of your mat. When you're ready, stand the right hand down, the left leg high. Ardha Chandrasana. Breathe, babies, breathe. Rotate the upper body. Square the hips and shoulders, in-legged. Standing, split. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it up. Release the left foot to meet the right and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, back. Inhale, rise. We said, Hastasana. Reach. Maybe a gentle back bend. Hands to heart center. Tuck the tail. Shoulders back strong. 
Bring your arms out to the wide. Wide. Spread them wide. Wide like you want to fly. Left arm under the right. Got to induce it out. Then hand forward. And find your eagle warrior three. Steady, Freddy's. Drop the hands, inhale, high, three-legged down dog. Exhale, round the back knee to chest. Release the left to meet the right, full. Inhale, up high. Reach, 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 bring the hands together. This time, bring the left knee with you. Open to the left. Find your tree pose. Woo. Steady, Rikshasana. Hands through center, knee through neutral. Extend the leg and hold. Release the left to beat the right, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bow, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, Chaturang. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot between the hands. Warrior one, pivot the hand. Exhale, frame. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot between the hands. Pivot the right. Fear of Vajra one. Exhale, frame the foot. Left to beat the right. Chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, child pose. Breathe. Warming you up, creating the tapas. Breathe. Yes. Think about what you're grateful for. Come to child's pose, rocks. You too, Cynthia. Forehead to the mat. Hips soft. Breathe peace. Return to your attention. Think about what you're grateful for. Get control of your consciousness. Listen. The mind makes a horrible master, but makes for a beautiful slave. So get it, it's yours. Don't let it run you all day long. Inhale up. Good, bring your knees together. Sit facing on your heels. All righty. Bring your arms out to the sides. Get deep into the hip just for a second. So you know what, you can relax your arms if you want to. Whatever makes you happy. I don't want you to burn your shoulders too much. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to pick yourself up and then I want you to bring yourself off to the right sitting on the ground. You have to lean to the left. Get your hips on the right. Get your ass all the way down. Enough so that you can rotate that left foot and inhale lift. See it? Come on forward. Rotate the upper body. Left knee comes down. You bring the hips way over to the left. You lean to the right. Get your ass down. Enough so that you can rotate the right foot. Inhale and lift. Come on back through center. Bring the foot down. All to the right now. You're going to lean way left to get it to the right. Open that right foot, lift and rotate. The left knee to meet the right. Come on, way out. Come on, way out. Get your ass down. Get your ass down so much so you can rotate. Lift and open. Bring the right knee to meet the left. Sit on your heels. Good. Staying here, we're going to tuck down. You're grounded. It's time. Ass back first. Doesn't matter. Will you tuck your tail? Get the shoulders back. Lift, Ustrasana. Breathe. Ah, oh, breathe. Send the lobes of your hips forward. Open your heart. Nice. Nice. Good. Chin to the chest. Take a quick child's pose, but we're not going to stay long. All righty. Breathe. Just a circle of breath. Nice. Inhale back up, get the hands under the shoulders. Spread the fingers wide. Meet me in table. Pick up everything and place it back down right. Move like a cat. A cat will put weight down and put its other weight down. Three points contact at all times. Distributing the weight with equity. Be ready to go. Tuck your toes, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, round the back, cat. Come through a neutral spine and inhale the left arm. Exhale, thread the needle, come on down to your left cheek. Push down with that hand, anchor with the knees, twist the spine. And when you're ready, inhale the right leg. 
Bend the left knee if it serves you. Bend the right knee if it serves you. Bring the soles together. Reach up with the right hand. <laughs> Bend the elbow, bind the posture. You know it's pickle pose, silly gooses. Slowly extend just the right leg. Place the right hand down. Slowly bring the right knee down and open to the left. Release the left to meet the right. Tuck your toes, pull your heart through, look up. And we do the other side. Exhale, round the back, cat flexion the spine. Neutral spine. Turn that right hand up and look up towards the sun. Exhale, thread the needle, come out to your right cheek. Stay right here, anchor with the knees. Take this left hand and push. What a delightful twist. And then slowly when you're ready, inhale the left leg high. Good. Bend the right knee, bend the left knee, soles come together. Place the left hand behind you on your right ass cheek. Ah, bada pickles asana. Go new friend, you got it. Extend the left leg. Slowly bring down just the left knee first. Then the left hand, opening to the right. Nice. Release the right hand. Come on forward. Good. Bring your belly down. Walk the hands back along the rib cage. Rotate the shoulders back and down. Squeeze the scapula. Bring the big toes together. Zip your inner thigh. Tuck your junk. Left Bhujangasana. Good old King Cobra. Look out over your left shoulder. <clears throat> Bend your right foot. Release the right foot, come through center, and lift your heart higher. Look over your right shoulder. Bend your left knee. Good, come through center. Walk your toes out till they point to the corners of your mat. Keep hot. Now your shoulders get closer to your ears, aren't they? So lift them up, back and down. Bend those knees, bring the toes together, look up, and then put your head at your feet. Am I close, Jenny? I'd like two more inches. I'm almost there, baby. Look, Mom, no hands. Top of the world. Release the feet, come on down. Take your right cheek, bring your hands to your sides. Palms face up and breathe. I was so close that time. <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Take one cheek. Yeah, fill your body with prana. Nice. Bend the knees. Bring the feet together. Drop them to the left. Inhale through center, then drop them to the right. Just windshield. Keep your upper body soft. Yeah, just taking that twist out. Good. Like a reversed recline twist. Yeah, just windshield wiper them legs. Good job. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. And then slide your arms out at the T. Come through center. Good. Bring your left hand under your shoulder. Extend your right leg. Send it over the top and open up. Bring that left leg over and scooch that left hand all the way over to the right side of your mat. Sweep your right arm in front of it, crisscrossing, reaching as far as you can with your shoulders. Then exhale, just fold. And then I need you to rock side to side so you can feel it in both capsules of your shoulders. Oh, that's nice. Good. Push down with the right hand so you can slide the left out into T. Slide the right hand under your shoulder, bend the right knee, push down and send it over the top this time, looking up, opening up the left shoulder from the front. Good. Open, send that right knee to the sky. Start to bring the right leg back. Push down and slide the right arm off to the left as far as you can. This time the left arm comes in front. You reach out to both sides of the mat, inhale up. Exhale, collapse. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Breathe. Good. Now use the core. Use the hyperextensive muscles of the lumbar spine. And inhale so you can lift. So you crisscross your hands in front of you and then fly them back. When they get there, point the toes. Lift the heart. Lift the quads. Shalabhasana. Hold. Slowly come on down to the opposite cheek. Relax the lumbar spine. Bring your cheek down to that warm mat. Exhale, soften the whole body. And then inhale big. Inhale bigger. 
Inhale bigger. Hold. Open your mouth, let it go. Let your shoulders fall into the arms of a friend. Do it again, inhale. Inhale big. Inhale bigger. Hold. Hold. Hold it longer. Open your mouth, roar, and let everything fall. Nice job, silly gooses. Well done. All right, while we're there, you know what we got to do. Spread your feet, hip distance apart. Yes, 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 bend both knees. Bend them up now. Reach back with that right hand, reach back with the left. Grab your ankles. <laughs> I'm on a hill, and I'm going. All righty, flex the feet. Now left, push. Point the toes, Dhanurasana. Now, this is gonna be a good one. It's gonna be really fun for me because I'm on a hill. I want you to roll onto your right side. Keep the feet. Come back through center. Do it, do it, what are you doing? Roll out to your left. Push the feet away. <laughs> Inhale up. <laughs> Release the feet. Hands under the shoulders, lift your upper body. Come on back, child's pose. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> and then he made you roll on your side. What a dumbass. Good, good, good. Alrighty, babies. Come to sit up. Good job. All right, you gotta have new things. <laughs> you gotta have something new every day. This is what I do. I go home. I go home and try to figure out new tricks every day. Come to sit. Bring your hands to one side, legs to another. Soles of the feet together. We have a new friend here. Okay. And whenever there's a new friend, uh oh, it's for you. <laughs> it's a little special present from Pickles. Remove your ass cheeks. Remove the flesh from under your ass bones. Good. Get your Nixon fingers ready. Grab the big toes, pull your heart through. Look up. Now hinge forward. Hinge forward. Keep your gaze up. Look at me, damn it. Don't you follow your head, follow your heart. Fold, butta kanasana. Breathe. Butta kanasana, bound angle. Allow the breath to soften the inner quads, the adductors. ATDs. Those attention deficit inner quads that defy us. Inhale up, lean back, hover the heels. Good. All right, can't do that. All right, I need mandatory eye contact here. Glasses up, ready? Ready? Do it. Let it rip. <laughs> oh, look at me, don't smile! Don't you let your feet go. Lift your heart! Oh, you're feeling your chest now, lift your heart high. Oh, lift and look up. <laughs> your feet go down, we start back from 10 o'clock. Get your feet up, now let them go. Keep your heels up. Catch the beach ball. Oh yeah. Catch the beach ball. Look at me going. Well, that's a beach ball, Michael. What the hell you got going on over there? Good. Good, good, good. Grab your thighs, rotate them back. Good. Place the heels down. Feet are clear. Inter externally rotated femurs. Come on forward. Come on forward. Come on forward. Upa vista conasana. Find your edge. Woo hoo hoo. Well done. That's it, Jennings. Good, baby. Don't force it. Follow your breath. Yes, it is. Stay here. All right, I don't know if Roxy told you, we stay in this posture for 75 to 90 minutes. So settle in here. I have an app on my phone. I've ordered some takeout. Chill now. Maybe you noodle a little side to side, but we're going to stay here for a few breaths, for real. Relax your head and neck. Hang. Follow your breath. Let my friends take care of your motion. You just follow their lead. And then you think about what you're grateful for and the people you love. And you think about how unbelievably lucky you are to be in this space at this time, right here, right now. There is no place better, babies, right than right here, right now. With you. That's it. Hanging with yourself in a community of light and love. In the arms of a friend, man. Sun kissing your cheeks. My friends massaging your ears. Finding space in your body. Freedom. Freedom. What more could we ever want? Oh, today is the day. <laughs> I know one day it's got to be, right? Every day it seems like it's just the greatest day. I love it. Come on forward. Lift up. Take the hands to the knees. Bend them. Come on forward a bit on your mat. Scoot. Good, good, good. Spread the feet wide. Maybe mat this or even wider than the hips, who knows? Grab the top of the chin, the base of the knee, pull your heart through, look. 
Exhale, round the back, chin to chest, cap flex of the spine. Inhale, pull it through, you got a little hip cramp. Pull the heart through, look up. Marjasana, and Vitalasana, cat and cow in a seated position. Come on back, chin to chest. Now hang on to the knees, stay here. Hang on to the knees, disengage your core, no core strength at all. Lean back, chin to chest. Open up, I need you to take this much more space in your rhomboid. Between your chicken bones, that much more space laterally. Good, inhale, pull your heart forward. Look up, slide your hands down to your ankles, let your knees fall out, pull the heart forward. Hinge forward, wide-legged Baddha Konasana. Oh yeah. Inhale up, bring the feet closer. Hover them to table. Oh, you can keep your hands if you like. Maybe you extend your legs. Maybe you can bring your arms parallel. Navasana boat, look up. Breathe. Take your gaze towards your toes. Interlace the fingers, extend the index finger, Shiva Mudra. Flex the feet. Bring down only the right heel. Bang, shoot yourself in the left toe. Inhale up. Let the left heel down, bang. Bring it back up. So we got no left, just kidding. Open wide. Squeeze. Open wide. Squeeze. One more time, wide. Squeeze. Knees to chest. Make your way to your back. Oh, yes. Give yourself a hug. Oh, make them dance, society. Make circles with your knees. Three to the left, three to the right. Heels down low. Brush your mat to massage your sacrum. Oh, yeah. Well done. When you're through and complete, drop those heels to the ground, hip just apart parallel. Turn the palms outside the hip and down. Tuck the tail. Spread your toes wide. Disengage your ass cheeks and engage your quads as you lift the hips. Setubanda, Sharvangasana. Bend your backs. Breathe peace. Breathe peace. Soften your cheeks. New friend. Extend the index finger on your right hand. Stay up and bridge. Now, take your right index finger. Poke yourself in the right butt cheek, for real. It's probably hard as a rock. You gotta disengage that muscle and send it into your quads, your thighs. And as you do that, lift your hips higher. Yes, reset the symphysis. Iyengar, my bushy eyebrowed Guruji, reminds us over and over again this posture has just begun when you feel like getting the hell out. So embrace this. Embrace these moments that you might find absolute clarity. Embrace these moments that you might find this indescribable joy, but you're just not there yet. But when it happens, I heard it's worth a lifetime of searching. Now articulate one vertebra at a time until you make your way back into the arms of a friend. One vertebra at a time. Artic articulate out, excuse me. And when your sacrum touches down, my friend's yard will come up and hug you. And when it does, bring your knees into your chest and give yourself another. Breathe peace. Squeeze now. Good. Now, keep those knees in close. I want you to inhale and exhale completely. Exhale completely. Exhale completely. Good. At the bottom of the breath, bring the quads in closer to your rib cage. Now, before you breathe in, inhale the head and shoulders up to the knees. And then return to natural circles of breath. Tight as a seed. Yes. Yeah. Exhale, release. Good. Drop the heels to the ground. Take your hands this time to the shoulders. The fingertips face your scapula. That's your chicken bones. Then you tuck under as we find our Urdhva Dhanurasana, Chakrasana, or wheel. You press down. You tuck the tail. You lift the heart. And you bend your back. Stay here for no less than eight breaths. Come to just the crown of the head if this is your game. Stay there, babies. If not, take another variation of bridge. Yes, lift, yes. Great. Good. Well done, silly gooses. Slowly come out of the posture when you know you're ready. But when you feel it coming out, stay one extra breath. Good job. Alrighty, when you get here, bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a squeezy. Good. Now separate your knees till they're shoulder width apart. Now send just your feet towards the sky. Grab the outer knife edges of those feet and then pull those knees towards the armpits. Then I need you to take cow. Relax your head and neck and lift just your belly. So just like cat and cow, but this time cow. Lift the belly and then rock side to side. So you're pushing the sacrum towards the earth 
and you're lifting your stomach. Everybody tells you cat flexion all the time. But this one needs a little cat. Good. Yes, 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 yes. And when you tip the sacrum towards the ground, you're lifting, and then you're massaging that whole little area. Good. Nice. God, it's weird not being out here with y'all. God, I'm so used to mugging people in class. I just get up out of habit. I don't even know how to do this. Jenny and I were talking about my classes are 15 minutes faster. Now, unintentionally, it's just because I can't come over and beat you up. Wait till they lift this shit, though. You're in trouble. You better get you some pepper spray, yo. Breathe. Relax. Good. Extend the legs towards the sky. Grab the hamstrings at the base behind the knee. Roll along your spine no less than three times till you come to sit. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, we're going to invert. So here's the dilia. Jenny Lee, if you come join me. We have options to pull on your ankles. We create a lot of lymphatic fluid when we move and twist. These are all the byproduct of stuff you no longer need. So we're going to create it, but it's going to pull. So we want to turn it upside down, hips higher than the heart. The very first one is a restorative inversion. This is called dead butt. Hips higher than the heart. If you're at home, put your legs up the wall. If you'd like, boom, and just stay here. And you got to be soft. So even though she's holding her feet and hands up, there's nothing going on here, just noodles. And you can feel everything drain in its opposite way towards gravity's pull. Then we have the option of going to Salamba Sharp and Gossin of the shoulder stand. A wonderful inversion and sometimes overlooked. So they should teach everybody headstand, handstand, forearm stand, and chin stand after uh, or before they teach this. Because what happens is when they, you're, you learn this in yoga first, and you do this, but then you abandon it because somebody's at the wall doing headstand. It looks cool, and you got to do a headstand or else you're not a yogi, you know, whatever that nonsense is. But Salambo Sharvangasa is a wonderful engagement of the low core. So it's between the navel and the pubic bone, and that is what creates the stability. So when you're on your head, you're not all over the place. But this one gets dismissed too quickly. And then we have the option of getting on our head. Ready? Shirsasana. You can do it Salamba Shirsasana or from tripod, whatever floats your boat. The crown of the head. All I want to emphasize to you people at home is that's the crown of the head. Not here and not here. If you place this part of the head down, look at my spine. If you place my head down here, which a lot of people do with their hands right outside their ears, drives me insane. I will yell at you for that, honestly. I will yell at you in Walmart for that. You put your head down here. Look at my spine now. But your cervical spine, it doesn't take a whole lot to hurt. So you better be really, really mindful when you put your body weight on your head. So there should only be this much, you know what I mean, of the weight to put into the head. That's all we're gonna do. Just a healthy amount of pressure on top of the, of the uh, excuse me, on top of the crown, and the weight distributed throughout the forearms and the hands. So place the crown of the head into that basket. Stabilize the elbows are no further than the shoulders apart. You tuck the toes, lift the knees. Dristy to the tip of the nose, the point of concentration. Walk your feet in till they won't go anymore. And then they'll just come on up. Good job. This is Shirsasana, Salamba Shirsasana, radiating the energy through the middle of the forearm. And then eventually it's the ankles, knees, hips, shoulder, and grounded through the radius, right through here. And then there's very little cervical compression at all. And you enjoy that perspective, come out really slowly, mindfully, under a gentle drip of exhalation, and then child's pose. The counter pose for your shoulder stand, by the way, is Matsuyasana or fish. Well done, Jenny Lee Croutons. All right, y'all, what are you waiting for? Get yourself into an inversion, for heaven's sake. All right. Good, enjoy your time here, don't rush. This is the only part of your day where you're gonna make time for a headstand or a shoulder stand, I bet you. I bet you a nickel. So enjoy yourself. And all I ask is that you take the appropriate counter pose <coughs> when you're ready. Child's pose for your headstanders. Fish pose for your shoulder standers. Happy baby or knees to chest for your restorative inverters. And then at your own time and when you are ready and not one breath before, I invite you to come up comfortably to a seated position. And if you have something, elevate your hips like a hoodie. Jess, I'll get you when, I, when we, we're allowed to put my hands on you. I'll help you with that, I promise. Okay. Right now you're on a hill and I can't help you. <laughs> so.
and then come up to sit whenever you're ready and open your heart to new things. My friends are going to invite you to a little party called Kirtan. It's just an exchange. It's a call and response. So if you're not comfortable responding because you don't like the sound of your own voice, that's fine. You don't have to. You can do it internally. If you're okay with opening your mouth, man, let it rip. They'll do something and they'll repeat it. And they'll say something and you repeat it and you do it back and forth. And all you're doing is singing a song to God, whatever that is for you. But hell, all of us sound good when you're singing to God. What a great critic. Sit up comfortably and enjoy my friends. So the words that we're going to be singing are in Sanskrit, they're largely just long extended vowel sounds. Um, and if you can catch on to the words, great. If you can't, just sing something close and you'll be doing it right.
ever so soulfully, friend. Take a few of movements as possible and make your way to your back. Let the sun hit your eyelids and allow that vibration to carry through your body, taking all contraction out of everything. Trust them. I do. Incarnation of Ram, Sita, his wife. Oh, the couple of the universe. Take all contraction out of your body. Release your breath. Soften your skin on your face. Let your feet just fall out. Let your palms face the sun. Let the skin between your eyebrows be soft. Allow the low jaw to fall. The tongue and the mouth to be soft. Your breath to be without control. No ego at all. You're in the midst of the inner self. You're holding hands with the individual soul. You're holding hands with the Atma, the God, Guru, and self that is you. Breathe in peace, babies. Breathe out fear. Breathe in peace. And embrace the peace. Inhale peace. Exhale judgment. Inhale love. And think about the ones you love. Breathe in peace. Exhale love. Breathe in love. Exhale peace. Yeah. You are you. Thank God for that. You are who you are and thank God for that. On behalf of love, <clears throat> Every truth without exception, no matter who makes it, is from God. If a bird got accused of singing too early in the morning, if a lute string magically play on its own in the square, and the enchanting sounds made it drove a pair of young lovers into wild public display of passion. If this lute and bird then got called before the Inquisition and their lives were literally at stake, could not God walk up and say before the court, all acts of beauty are mine, all happened on the behalf of love. And while God was there testifying for our heart's desires, hopefully the judge would be astute enough to, be, to brave a question that could go, dear God, you say all acts of beauty are yours. Surely we could believe that. But when all actions we see, we see in this world, for there is any force in existence greater than the power of your omnipresent hand. And God might have responded, I like that question, adding, may I ask you one as well? And then God would say, have you ever been in the conversation when children entered the room and you then ceased speaking because your wisdom knew they were not old enough to benefit or understand? As exquisite is your world, most everyone in it is spiritually young. Spirituality is love, and love never wars with the minute of the day, one's self and others. Love would rather die than maim a limb, a wing. Dear anything that divides man from man, earth from sky, light and dark, one religion from another, oh, I best keep silent. You see a child as just entered the room. Enjoy your ride, babies.
to do, baby. Just take a breath. Just a conscious breath. And nudge yourself back. Then I need you to wiggle a toe. Maybe your nose. And just take these tiny little fidgets of physical awareness. Bring yourself back to your body and to my friend's beautiful yard. Then roll your head from side to side. You can feel that slosh of vibration go from ear to ear that my friends put in there. And as it goes through one side or another, it pulls you in either direction, one towards the masculine or one towards the feminine. Embrace that side of you today and roll onto that side. Aida, Pingalinada, fall into your masculine, the moon or sun. And sit in your stillness. Ah, uh, one, one. Ah, it's our yoga nushasana. Yoga chitta. Yoga chitta. Rita Narodaha. We created stillness with our dance. So we could be right here. Still bodies create still minds. Still minds allow you to come home. Turn inward. You bump right into that very best version of yourself. And now you have a hard time not revealing it. So come when you're ready to come sit. Your beautiful behinds up to sit comfortably. The shining sparkles that you are. Alrighty. So, uh, um, my new friend, I, I, I want to mention to you, these silly gooses are used to my craziness, but uh, I mentioned a lot of God and the Beloved, and I don't want you to freak you out with that and it's uh it's nothing to do denominationally yoga is so not a religion yoga is experiential experiment that's the difference it doesn't rely it doesn't make you have faith it just helps you and creates the faith to strengthen your own spirituality but the god i refer to and the beloved i refer to over and over again is the one in you the one that sits right in your heart and the one you can't deny when you're honest and you remove the gunas. The gunas are the veils, these cloaks, that meek mirror and, and muck and mire, so you can't see the light. So we keep taking these veils off, and we keep peeling them away. And we peel them away until the light gets brighter and brighter and brighter. The light is you. The light is the divinity in you. The light is the God go to itself that is all you. So everything you need, you are. You are everything you need. You are everything you need, and as soon as you know that man, that light in your chest just begets more light. And that just spills onto her and him, and you and you and you. And then we dance together, and kindness begets kindness, and love begets love. And it's not hippy dippy shit, man. It's not. And you're not going to go run back to life and have to be conservative and this and that and all this other nonsense, man. You take this light with you where you go. And the benefits of these practices, sure, you're going to be more flexible and you're going to be stronger. You're going to be more agile and more stable. But you're also going to be more stable between your ears. So take that thing away. Remember, remember. The mind, oh, it's a horrible master, but a wonderful slave. So take it back. Take that chitta consciousness under your control. Throw a lasso around it. It's yours. Follow your heart's knowing. Trust it. It knows what's going on. Your pure love, your pure light, man. And I love, I love, I love being with you and showing you a little bit of stuff I know every day, guiding you through this dance that makes my heart explode and pound in my chest. Good gravy. Good gravy. That's the Bohemian Song Society. Hello. Hello, hello. I hope you sound, you heard the sound of your own voice today because it's beautiful. And I heard it and it was unbelievable. And the sound of your voice creates a vibration. This vibration is healing. It's the ocean of vibration that starts at your crown right through your root. Keep that vibration all day. We're a vibratory being. We're an energetic body. So take it all day long. Put your hands together if you would and join me in a big ass ohm. That's Jersey for ohm now. It's going to be au ohm. And we're going to breathe in big and you're going to say it as ohm big. Let yourself be heard. Carry that vibration and pull it so that the lips get together. And mm, 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 mm. Red wing blackbirds right on time. I hired them this morning. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Oh, the 
light me thinks the light you is golden, babies. I love you all so very much. Peace and light. Namaste. 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 Peace and light, y'all. Peace and light. Enjoy your day. Ha-ha! I love my job. <laughs> Thank you, babies. <laughs> Good job. Make them dance, damn it. <laughs> How's that? My, my, uh, that's a yoga class. Take that shit, online world. We got some yoga right here in Kitty Hawk, too. How about that, Los Angeles? How about that, Paris, France? Damn. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> that was fun, kids. <laughs> I was serious. Hey, nice to meet you, new friend. I know we're supposed to be socially distant, but nice to meet you. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Good to see you. I love it.